Hello everyone, it's Luna here and today we are gonna have a look at the new Barbarian meta whirling Barbillion damage using Grandpapa. Absolute insane. I'm <laughs> just joking. Okay, but like... Brother ooh, Brother ooh, What is this? What is this? You cannot just fail to crack the code for Barbarian. Leave it, you know, in the dust to play sorcerer and then come back to destroy the market! <laughs> to just completely crash the market for all of us OG barbarians! <laughs> like, I still don't even have my GA resource, uh, Ramaladni. I had it! several of them but i gave them to my clan members because i was like ah it's okay like i will wait for the 4 ga1 it will be like 5 billion no one plays barbarians it's 200 billion now 200 billion uh, that's absolutely insane uh, anyway jokes aside um yeah the market has kind of crashed for Barbarian thanks to Rob's video and so today uh, what I'm gonna show you is my guide to my build not using Locran Talisman. Uh, now am I gonna say that yeah you should scrap your Locran you know and play this build instead because it's so much stronger? No, this is build that you can play instead of Locran to get the same amount of uh, performance. Uh, if you saw my previous gameplay without Fist of Fate, this will be like a combined guide because I basically have one without Fist of Fate and one with, but they're essentially the same. Um, so if you saw my gameplay, I got more than 1100 ether easy uh and that was even with my wave 9 bugging out it really did like i got less points in wave 9 than i did in wave 2. it was like i don't know what happened either way we would reach around 1400 ether um and yeah that was without fists of uh fate uh you can in the background also see uh my um uh, around 30 seconds skill of the council with the build so yeah it's a very good build, very strong build. Uh, some of you might already be playing it because it's available for a week or maybe even, even longer on my Mobiletics page. So make sure to always check that. Make sure to check my account on the Mobiletics page with all of my builds. Uh, also make sure to check the variants because it's not just one build uh, that's on my page. I usually have many. Uh, so you can see we have the Rumble Boss Slayer. You know, we have uh, the Ultra Min Max built with Fists of Fate. We have the No Fists of Fate built, etc. Uh, so I always try to um, you know, make as many builds as possible uh, to fit as many gameplays, uh, game styles of like, you know, what people like, uh, what they're looking for, etc. Or I just, you know, add builds if I, yeah, like just figure out something else and I consider it, you know, stronger. Uh, for example, without deleting uh, the old one, uh, because yeah, people might have already started building it and I don't want them to lose it, especially uh, because yeah, all the builds that I make, uh, I try to minimax to an absolute peak. So me adding a new variant does not mean that the old one is bad. It just means that I found something else, a uh, different play style and yeah, it could be better or better suited for uh, a different kind of content, for example, uh, right? So uh, there's that uh, for uh, for the intro. Uh, and now uh, let's jump right uh, into it. So this build, as I said, does not play Lockruns. Um, so uh, we are playing Harlequin Crest, of course, uh, here. If you want to super min-max and you are super lucky and have GA cooldown reduction, Shaco, I hate you, by the way, because I still don't. <laughs> uh, but if you do, uh, this build skyrockets in performance because uh, you can then play just, you know, one Ref of the Berserker cooldown reduction on your jewelry and one Warcry cooldown reduction. I, you know, try to make notes for uh, for everything here so that, uh, so that you, even if you don't like watch the video or watch, you know, the entirety of the video, uh, you can always read about it. So if you have GA on your Shaco and cooldown reduction, you can play it like this. If you don't, if you're like myself, uh, you need to play, uh, you know, double Ref of the Berserker cooldown uh, reduction on your jewelry because Ref of the Berserker, when we are playing Unconstrained, is stronger than Call of the Ancients 
as long as long as you do not drop it okay you need to rotate uh your shouts in a way that the ref of the berserker has 100 uptime okay so that's why we are playing ref of the berserker here um then we are playing of course the own smite you want the g8 uh here preferably on the resistances to all elements but i don't suppose many people will have uh you know a lot of or some people won't have even one ga uber so i tried to uh, i tried to avoid the greater affixes on items as much as possible uh, but if you do have it ga to resistance is all to all elements and then uh triple masterwork to damage reductions if you don't have any gas then you have to hit uh maximum resistances to all elements twice uh to reach the cap and then once you can reach um you can get the damage reduction because the difference between 70 percent max resistances and 85 is around 50 percent dr 50 percent dr okay so that's why because i know that a lot of people might ask like why don't we just go for damage reductions uh yeah this is this is the reason uh, then fist of fate we want ga and masterwork on the crit strike chance of course lucky hit chance you want to be high uh or ga preferably but at least high and it has to be 300 unique effect it doesn't work for damage over time but it does work for direct damage so you want that to be 300 or you will be actually at dps loss over 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 normal gloves okay so you want it like that the reason you want high lucky hit chance uh or ga on it is to help us proc the chance to make enemies vulnerable lucky hit on our ring okay so that is uh that is why that will help us with uh vulnerable uptime uh then tibolt's will with g on max resource and damage reduction or max resource and all stats uh if you want some extra uh extra damage uh over extra survivability of course master working on the max resource because yeah we are playing promaladni of course then on our boots ranks to war cry movement speed and strength here i actually uh actually recommend ga movement speed uh because yeah that will help you reach the 200 percent movement movement speed cap that will help you uh run around a lot as you can see we are not playing relentless berserker that's just you know a trash bin aspect we don't need that uh we don't want that so a grasping real wind it is uh i also played with wild bolt aspect uh it is really nice when you pull the enemies from the distance and you do the extra damage to them but grasping real wind turned out to be a better option because yeah it uh, procs yeah, more often it procs in close uh combat as well uh and so we are stacking enemies together a lot that's why we also don't want to play aspects like ghost walker for example um because that actually it turns out to be a dps loss because then you have to run around uh the arena to like spread your dust devils um and they still want to hit, hit like everyone with grasping relevant or even the wild bolt aspect as i said you will just gather all of the enemies all of the enemies in one spot so they get hit with every single dust devil that you spawn giving you the highest possible dps in in aoe and clear speed here i went for barrier generation and movement speed for the tempers master working on the war cry for maximum damage of course uh then on our two-handed mace we want strength crit strike damage max life crit strike damage temper and chance for dust devils to cast uh to cast twice uh we want to triple masterwork that because we want to reach the 99 percent so that yeah every single dust devil uh basically that we shoot out gets uh doubled uh here ga i recommend on strength and crit strike damage for more damage we don't really need the extra survivability from from max life uh if you're really like greedy for damage i think you can even get away with uh going for um percentage damage just just flat damage instead of max life there um so yeah that's also an option uh then of course romaladin's magnum opus this is the bread and butter of the build um yep yeah, this is pretty much what we are playing for any build that uses dual wield you know for rent etc so this is a no-brainer 
uh, max resource masterwork again a no-brainer uh we want ga on strength and max resource if you have like max resource crit strike damage it's also good but preferably strength because we are also playing percentage strength on our amulet uh then Oh, and sorry, I forgot to say, on the maze, we are, of course, playing Dust Devil's Aspect. That's how we do the damage. That's also the only Dust Devil Aspect that is considered skill and gets boosted by Ramaladni. Uh, all of the other aspects, you can see there's no Devilish, uh, for example, uh, don't get buffed by it. Okay, so they are very, very weak compared to Dust Devils from Whirlwind. Uh, then on our other uh, dual wield we want one mace uh, and we will see why in the in the skill tree TLDR extra 10% uh, extra 10% damage when enemies are stunned um, here I suggest going for strength crit strike damage and flat damage definitely on the two hander go for flat damage the gain of uh, life there is very minimal we don't need it let's just go for uh, more damage temper crit strike damage and dust devil size again we want to master the dust devil size there three times because together with the aspect of fierce winds on our amulet we have 96 percent almost reaching the cap uh of dust devil size which uh yeah each percent of size is a multiplicative damage increase so that's uh really uh really awesome then on the grandfather triple master working damage just you know flat damage um yep self-explanatory item this is direct damage grid strike damage base build the grandfather is the best thing you can really get plus it also gives us max resource same as harlequin crest thanks to the changes in season five so with ramaladni absolute bonkers then ring of starless skies uh preferably you want ga crit strike chance here um to reach the 100 crit strike chance or very close to it uh if you don't have it don't worry about it uh as long as you are like 90 percent and higher with the crit strike chance you are gucci uh, we want to master work on the crit strike chance of course uh then on our ring i already showed you this is important to have chance to make enemies vulnerable and then crit strike chance and strength if we temper damage while berserking uh once and then crit strike chance twice we will also reach the perfect 300 damage while berserking for our blood rage note and finally the amulet here cooldown reduction uh triple masterwork here uh strength and counter offensive now a lot of people a lot of people were asking me why am i not playing uh locker and salisman right and the tldr is faith i like we do not actually want to play shaco we do not want to play harlequin crest in almost any of our builds definitely not in the whirlwind build what we do want to play is crown of lucian crown of lucian is the strongest helmet in the game for us it's a massive massive uh damage boost because we don't really benefit from the extra core skills from shaco for example right so we really really want to play crown of Lucian, but at this point in time it is not working it actually cancels all of your other aspects uh or items that boost your core skill damage uh so like starless skies you know etc so it actually gives you less damage if you equip the item uh it does it you know it's not even like zero damage increase it lowers your damage so that's 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 bonkers but i really had you know faith in blizzard that they are gonna fix that because there are hundreds hundreds of topics on both european and american forums uh that this is not working and so i really thought that like with the first patch or the mid-season patch we are getting uh we are getting uh, you know a fix for crown of lucian and then we would of course replace it um we would use it instead of instead of shaco right and if you played lockran talisman you'd have like what 25 minus 21.6 let's say you have the ga on lockrans so that's 19.6 seconds on your shouts right and you know minus six seconds with bolt shift and aspect um that we are playing on our ring to lower the cooldowns for our shouts and you are still at 13 and a half so basically 50 percent of the time you are without your shouts so you lose the damage from warcry you have no resource generation you have no unstoppable uh you have um you have no dr 
from commanding shout so all in all like if crown of solution gets fixed you will salvage your lock run <laughs> So that's one of the reasons why I am going for cooldown reduction amulet here because yeah I was expecting to replace Harlequin Crest you know already so that didn't happen so unfortunately but yeah if it does Lockran Talisman goes bye bye right so there's that I already showed you aspect of fierce winds uh, on the amulet uh, and damage while berserking temper here to reach the 300%. Uh, then for our skill tree uh, we are going for two points anywhere uh, just uh, to reach whirlwind enhanced whirlwind for fury generation two points in pressure point to help us with the vulnerable uptime three points imposing presence we don't really need martial vigor uh, we're just not dying at all we are immoral uh rallying cry all the way up to strategic rallying cry for uh free 45 then one point here and one point in toughest nails for our thorns uh for bleed to proc the damage against bleeding enemies you know the dr bleeding and to proc our revenge glyph if you're you know watching this channel for some time you know that uh, probably for seasons already i'm advocating for revenge i have it in almost every single build uh, that i make it's absolutely awesome i don't understand why people are not taking a free eight percent multiplier uh, it also passes really well which you will see in the paragon board then challenging shout enhanced challenging shout uh, and tactical challenging shout we don't really need tactical challenging shout for uh, the fury uptime uh, to be honest so feel free to move that point around maxing out on war cry and the extra damage through power war cry in aoe uh booming voice ought to have uh, the highest duration on our shouts then we are going down uh taking aggressive resistance you know and uh prolific fury we don't need battle fervor because thanks to ref of the berserker uh plus war cry we are non-stop berserking so we don't need that uh taking the multipliers here of course uh, uh, taking the multipliers here for more damage uh, taking the extra fury breath of the berserker itself all the way down uh, so that every 50 fury we spend increases our berserking's damage bonus which goes hand in hand with unconstrained that already increased our berserking damage bonus from 25 to 60 and then we again double it through breath of the berserker but because we do not have crown of solution to increase the cost of our whirlwind to proc this you know faster um we do need the 100 uptime we need to spend 200 fury so that's um that's what 20 ticks of whirlwind because right now it costs like 10 um so so yeah you need a lot of virulence you need a lot of virulence to actually reach the maximum of ref of the berserker um so yeah this is this uh this is it for the skill tree and then the paragon board if it decides to load so we are going with fire here then we are going up taking warbringer all of the of course extra uh extra fury nodes uh playing uh ref getting all of the extra you know easy uh easy accessible dexterity nodes uh to boost it and the physical damage nodes going right to the carnage board maxing out on twister damage with 75 uh strength uh taking of course the berserking nodes around here as uh well there is also an option to not play it like this you can actually instead uh play revenge here and move some points right uh, around which will help you reach 300 berserking even without iron and then you can add exploit which i do not have right now because i don't consider it necessary as all the small mobs die instantly and the bosses are vulnerable through uh through our lucky chance right but yeah you can still play around with this i always say um i am like offering you know min max builds but if you find you know what you can do with it to fit your playstyle more maybe even optimize it that one paragon point further or something you know go ahead it just makes me happy that people gain the knowledge 
of barbarians to be able to make their own uh, builds. Then we are going up, taking the blood rage node. We need the multiplier here. We are using martial to reduce our cooldowns uh, when we are using uh, when we are using our shells. That's how we keep the wrath of the berserker uptime. Uh, going right, taking flawless technique with ambidextrous. You know, boosting all of the nodes around for damage and dr. Taking also the flawless technique, uh, flawless technique legendary note itself. It gives us eight uh, percent crit strike chance. It seems to be bugged, even if you just like uh, click on the pillar to take the boons or teleport to the city, you gain the buff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know why. Either way, this is non stop up. Um, so it's non stop 8% a crit strike chance here. 6% extra life, very easily accessible, just two points. Uh, once again, if you are feeling tanky enough, you can remove these two points. Uh, you can remove some extra DR nodes, you know, like from here. Uh, put it to put it to more crit strike damage, etc. Once again, I leave that up to you. Optimize based on how you feel with the build, and then we are going up uh, using revenge. Easy popping these two nodes, giving us extra DR, extra damage, extra multiplier. Here, physical damage nodes and extra life. And of course, the legendary node itself. So I really hope you enjoyed the guide. As I said, this was like a double guide because basically the best all arounder only got a slightly different Paragon board. And of course, doesn't use Fists of Fate, right? Uh, everything else is basically the same basically the same um so if you are tired of the bug and if you didn't know what the bug is uh the bug is that basically fists of fate disable Ramaladni. so every time you change an instance you need to unequip your Ramaladni and then equip it back to a lot of people it's annoying if you're playing pit it's literally impossible uh to do so maybe the no uh fof version is the right version uh, for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, and yeah, thank you for all of your support and see you in the next one. Ciao.